All right, all you Harry Potter fans out there. I have something very fun just for you. Introducing the Metal Earth Company all brand new, the Night Bus all metal kit. If you guys haven't seen these Metal Earth Company kits, they're good fun. Well, here's a little vacation I just got back from. In Orlando, Florida at the Universal Studios, they have a night bus right there at Harry Potter World. And I've always wanted to ride the night bus. I always thought that was one of the best things. Now, these Metal Earth Company kits come packaged in flat cardboard containers. And what you're doing is you're making a 3D object out of a flat set of parts. You might think of it as a 3D puzzle. And this is the fourth of the series of Harry Potter. They have the train Hogwarts in the house. This is what the parts come. They're flat, they're metal, and they're exquisitely well painted. There's so many parts that they have to give you a register so you can keep track of which parts you've used and which parts you have not used. And tons of instruction, pages and pages of instructions with few if any words. I like that. Now you don't glue or solder these together. They have an ingenious method of pins and holes and you either push the pin over or you take it and give it a squeeze. Now you will need a number of tools and you'll notice that there's a lot of junk here. You don't have to buy a lot of stuff. You'll have these things laying around. What you will need to do though you'll need to have your readers on. You'll need to have your magnifying glasses on because sometimes the holes are really close together and you want to make sure to get the pin in the right hole. And what you're doing, like I said, you're taking these flat pieces of metal and you're forming them into these 3D shapes. The more carefully you make the shapes, the better your kit's going to come out. As you're using the different parts, I always like to mark them off because there are so many parts and I don't want to get them mixed up. Now, talking about taking the parts off, never break them off. Always use sharp nippers. You don't want to bend them off, you don't want to wreck them because it will damage them unless you use sharp nicker, nippers to open them up. Now look at all those holes. This is why I suggest that you have your readers on and also your magnifying glass because you want to make sure that you get the pin in the correct hole because if you get it in the wrong hole and you bend it, it's a bugger to take off. Now as I get the different sections completed, I like to mark them off just like the parts list. That way I can keep track of what is and is not done. And then before long, you start getting all of these sub-assemblies. They don't really look like too much yet, but it is pretty cool when you start getting a whole pile of things that you're working with. Now, you might have noticed in the directions, there's very few words. Anytime you have any words on the directions, you want to read them very carefully and follow them exactly the way they tell you to, because it's always something important. If you don't, well, I've learned my lesson on that one. Now you're starting to get more and more assemblies. And then you get more and more sub-assemblies, and before long you got a whole pile of sub-assemblies. Eventually we're going to have to put all these things together. So how about right now? When you put the different levels of the bus together, make sure that you get the pins in the right place. They were a little bit tricky to get exactly lined up, but after they're in place, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. Now as my wife said, you'll never see them anyway, but I think it's pretty cool. So let's move on to the next part. Moving right along, it's time to put the front and the back of the night bus together. It's a little tricky, but not too bad. Just take your time and you can fit these things together. A few extra bits on the other wall, and then it's time to install that one. Now, generally with these kits, the last bit or two is difficult to put together. This one took a little bit of, mm, uh, let's say, time and patience to get it together. And then our night bus is finished. There it is. Pretty cool, huh? For all of you Harry Potter fans out there, you'll really enjoy this particular kit. It was fun putting it together, and it was fun making this video for you. For those of you folks that haven't tried any of these Metal Earth kits, certainly think of them as a 3D puzzle. You're taking these flat sheets of metal and making them into these really cool 3D, well, in this case, a bus. Lots of detail, and these guys are really smart how they figure these out. And Oh, you Harry Potter fans will know this one, squeezing the night bus through the other traffic. I couldn't quite get it to squeeze, though. 
Well, there you have it. Another fun project come and gone. I hope you guys enjoy your hobbies out there and come back and see me again sometime. Have fun, guys. See ya.